It was one of those art auctions that made headlines. This week at Sotheby's here in New York, a self-portrait by artist Frida Kahlo sold for just under $35 million. Yep, that's it right there. It shows how the works of women can command incredible sums on the world market. But that hardly tells the whole story. Anthony Mason's back and joins us here in the studio with more Anthony, good morning. Good morning, Michelle. In fact, that sky-high sale belies the status of most women artists now and throughout history. They've traditionally toiled in relative obscurity compared to their male counterparts, something many are hoping will soon change. So these paintings were stained. In her early days as a painter, the pioneering artist Audrey Flack was afraid to use her first name. Here's Flack. 54. This is yep. 1954? Yeah. And there's a flack. A flack. It took a while for me to do Audrey. <laughs> Why? You didn't want to be judged as a woman artist. How would you be judged? Lesser. Less important. Flack's work evolved from abstraction to photorealism in the 60s. Which was radical at the time. Radical. But like most women artists, Flack, who's now 90, has struggled to get as much attention as her male colleagues. Why did the women get left out of the story? They've always been left out of the story. H.W. Jansen's History of Art, which first came out in 1962, was long the Bible, the preferred textbook. When it was originally published, there were no women in Jansen. No women. No women in any art history book. In 1980, Audrey Flack says she had an unexpected encounter with the author's son and argued that American painter Mary Cassatt should be included. And he put her in. Yeah. And he put me in, which was kind of nice. First women. How did that feel? It felt great. In the 80s, Flack began exploring sculpture, and as she showed me in her studio in East Hampton, New York, later chose to portray strong women, like Eve. She's a very heroic woman, and sexy. And Daphne, the wood nymph of Greek mythology. So I decided to make her hair tree roots, which I gathered from East Hampton storms. Do you feel seen more now as an artist? I'm getting letters from former students and from artists, mainly women, of how much my work has meant to them. And I'm like, wow, how did this happen? It's very gratifying. But she's still waiting for a career retrospective show in New York. I'm 90. Yeah. How much longer do I have to go? You know, it's like that much. And there it is. And Audrey Flack is 90. I know. <laughs> the, the most amazing, I, that's what 90, I hope 90 looks like for me. Yeah. yeah. Sharp as a tack, still creating like crazy, amazing woman. And a great steward for her profession. Yes, yeah. exactly. And she's seen it all. She is, I mean, she's got stories. She literally got hit on by Jackson Pollock. <laughs> yes. She's got amazing stories, and, but most of all, an incredibly talented artist.